This Thursday, former Minnesota police officer Kim Potter was found guilty of first-degree and second-degree manslaughter for fatally shooting 20-year-old black man Dante Wright when she mistook her service weapon for a taser in April. Potter did not react as Judge Regina Chu read the guilty verdicts in court. Take a look. I'm now going to read your verdicts as it will as it will appear in the permanent court records of Hennepin County. In the matter of State of Minnesota versus Kimberly Potter, court file number 27CR21, we, the jury, on the charge of manslaughter in the first degree while committing a misdemeanor on or about April 11, 2021, in Hennepin County, State of Minnesota, find the defendant guilty. And the verdict was agreed to at the hour of 11.40 a.m. and signed by the jury person on 12.23.21. On uh, the verdict on count two is we, the jury, on the charge of manslaughter in the second degree, culpable negligence on or about April 11, 2021, in Hennepin County, State of Minnesota, find the defendant guilty. And that verdict was agreed to at 10.30 a.m. on 12-21-21. The former policewoman had pled not guilty and claimed the shooting was an accident, saying she mistakenly grabbed her firearm instead of her taser stun gun when Wright resisted being handcuffed and attempted to flee once they realized he was the subject of an arrest warrant and decided to arrest him. Potter then drew what she said she thought was her taser, but was actually her gun that delivered one fatal shot at Wright. Sentencing has been set for February 18th. Potter faces up to 15 years for first-degree manslaughter and 10 years for second-degree, but prosecutors have said that they plan to seek a longer sentence due to aggravating factors. In a statement, Wright's family said they are relieved at the guilty verdicts. Also, quote, from the unnecessary and overreaching tragic traffic stop to the shooting that took his life, that day will remain a traumatic one for this family, and yet another example for America of why we desperately need change in policing, training, and protocols. If we are ever going to restore the confidence of black and marginalized Americans in law enforcement, we need to have accountability and a commitment to listening and to creating meaningful change. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to visit us at rawstory.com. And if you'd like to see more of The Raw Report, please like and subscribe and join others who like their news raw too.